Hey guys, this is Shara with ADU Resource Center and today I want to talk to you guys about accessory dwelling units, a little bit about the process and who we are and I want you guys to watch this video before meeting a contractor. So accessory dwelling units also called ADUs are basically secondary dwelling units that anybody in California is not allowed to build on their lot. So any single family property is allowed to build uh, an ADU, an additional unit on their lot now up to 1200 square feet and a junior ADU up to 500 square feet that needs to be attached to the property. So technically any single family property can now become a triplex. And these ADUs, the, there's different varieties. You can build a new construction ground up attached, detached. It could be garage space that's converted. It could be attic space, basement space that could be converted into an ADU. Uh, so the law says in California, in most cities, you're allowed up to 1200 square feet and uh, some cities limit you to 1,000 square feet. Junior ADUs are limited to 500 square feet, and like I said, they have to be attached to the main house. Uh, based on my experience, what I've seen, a lot of times, whatever you spend on your ADU to build it, you get that back in equity and a lot more, so right away, it's a really good investment. And even if you finance 100% of the construction, uh, I would say every case that I've seen, they've been cash flowing really, really well. So overall, it's a really good investment, and the law that passed this year allows investors that have rental properties to build ADUs and they're now allowed to rent both the front and the back unit out where it used to be that you had to be owner occupied so they couldn't build on all their investment properties. Uh, so um, let's go down the line here. So a lot of laws changed this year and the, some of the important things I'm gonna kind of go over real quick so you guys have a little bit of information on that before we continue. So. Setbacks have changed, meaning any single family property is allowed to uh, build four feet away from the property line instead of five. So that's much better. So as long as you're four feet away from the back and the side property line and six to ten feet away from your main house, whatever space is left, you're allowed to build on. Uh, development impact fees under 750 square foot construction is eliminated. That's majority of the fees that you're going to have to pay the city. Anything over 750 is significantly reduced. So that really helps. Uh, parking requirements are changed. So if you're converting a garage to an accessory dwelling, you do not need to replace parking. And if you're building an additional unit, as long as you're half a mile away from public transit, meaning a bus stop or a train station, you don't have to replace parking. If you're not and you have to replace parking, a lot of times it's pretty easy to get away with it. All you do is you designate a spot in the front of your property to be the designated parking. A lot of times we get away with this pretty easily. Uh, multi-families are now allowed to have ADUs starting this year so if you have a duplex you can add an additional two units and if you have an existing space within the, the building then it can actually be three units and the more units you have the more ADUs you're allowed to build there's a formula to it we can talk about that in a different video uh, also HOAs are not allowed to stop you anymore so if you live in an HOA community uh, they cannot tell you you cannot build an ADU anymore. So that's very good if you're in that type of a community. Uh, un illegal units, unpermitted garage conversions or back houses are now allowed to legalize it before, before, without being penalized. So you can go to the city and basically get permits for, for what you already have. You have five years to fix this without being penalized. And uh, I said earlier actually that you're now also allowed to rent out the front and the back unit where you had to be owner occupied last year uh airbnb is not allowed unfortunately these rentals have to be 30 days or longer and uh last thing last change that i really like actually i was more excited about before was that uh cities only have 60 days by law starting this year to approve your permits however they're already backed up in most cities and with the covid is a great excuse not to not to get this done within 60 days and that's usually the case it ends up taking a little bit longer uh, so just a little bit about who we are. Uh, we are technically not contractors. We are ADU Resource Center uh, and we are a one-stop shop to basically complete this type of a project. Uh, building an ADU can be pretty difficult. There's a lot of pieces that have to fit in, in place. Uh, you have to time it right and some of the people that need to be involved are architects, engineers, contractors, financing and you need to time all of this together so that, uh, so that it works out right. So it's really hard to find the right people that are qualified, that have experience and that's why we come in and we help. Um, so we, in our opinion, have access to, best, to the best people, best contractors, architects, financing that we could find. That's because 
we have to do a lot of research to work with the right people for our business to work. If they fail, then our business is not going to fail and it's just not going to work out for us. So we have already vetted these people that we work with. We've been to their offices. We've seen their operations. We talked to their clients and by now work with them long enough where we know they are really good at what they do. Uh, and you actually don't even pay extra by working with any of these people or companies by going through us. And the reason is because we give them, first of all, volume business so they can afford paying us something. They, we give them volume business and we take over their marketing. We answer their calls. We have staff to basically manage phone calls and follow ups and just making sure the process works out well. So we take a big chunk of their their operation away, we take over that, and that's why they can pay us a little bit without charging you more. They also understand that you're probably gonna get bids from other contractors, they have to be competitive for, for them to, to get the job anyway. So it's pretty common sense they can't charge you more. Um, uh, with us, you have the option to work with one, get an estimate from one contract or a multiple contract. And let's say you have, you're, you're new to this and you have no idea what the process is like, what the timeline is like, how much it's going to cost. I'll be happy to send you two, three, even four different contractors to come to your house, give you a free estimate and explain their process, their timeline. And uh, they will each give you their idea of how to structure things and how to design things for it to make sense for you. So uh, that's, that's kind of uh, all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.